As sharing digital information becomes more and more a part of our everyday lives, the ability to quickly send, post, and save weather updates directly within our app just seem like a necessary tool. In this video, we will show you where the photo share button is located, teach you how to use the feature, and go over some useful troubleshooting tips for those who may be having issues getting it to work correctly. So, let's get started. As mentioned briefly in our basic app navigation video, the photo share button will be located here, on each of your device data screens. To use this feature, simply navigate to the correct device page with the information you'd like to share, and tap this icon. Doing so will open up your mobile device's camera, which will include an overlay of the sensor or station's current data with a time and date stamp. Here you can now move around to find just the right angle and snap your picture. After which, a sharing dialog box will appear, detailing the options you have for sending, saving, and posting this new image. Keep in mind these sharing options will be limited to the different apps and features enabled on your mobile device. For instance, if you wish to share this photo directly on your Facebook page, you'll also have to have the Facebook app installed and its sharing features enabled. Alternatively, you can always save this image directly to your mobile device's photo gallery. This is the safest and recommended option, especially if you plan to share this multiple times. We should also note that if you hit the cancel button through any of these sharing options, the app will reopen your camera and make you take a new picture. Now for those of you who are trying to use this feature, but are seeing a black or blank screen instead of the image from your camera, please check to make sure you have allowed the Lacrosse View app access to your camera. This must be done through your mobile device's settings menu. Once turned on, this will actually allow you to fully use other app features as well, such as changing device background images, and scanning in new device IDs. We hope this video helped you to better understand how to use the photo share feature within the Lacrosse View app. But if you should have further questions or issues with any of the topics covered in this video, please just let us know in the YouTube comment section below. We are here to help you. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the end of this video to receive all of our latest content and further video instruction. Thanks again for choosing Lacrosse Technology.